Hey guys, it's Lucy and Kelly here <laughs> and we are back with another video. Today we thought it would be fun to make friendship bracelets and chat a little bit about what it means to be a good friend. So I am going to make a friendship bracelet for Lucy and she is going to make one for me. So we go on, use it. Oh no, no, I was going to say, we have this really cool pack and it has all these kind of, um, I say holographic, um, yeah. cool... Well, they like big because you can make like, like necklaces, pictures, necklaces. And key rings. And I've, I have got the instructions just because it's got I like different go on ones for earrings. And it's got, but I like all the stretchy bracelets, so we're kind of doing that. And then um, we've got heart beads. Yeah. And stars. And circles. Little tiny, tiny stars and circles. Because we do love a good friendship bracelet, and we've been kind of getting into them more, like you've probably seen on our channel and over on our Instagram, um, that we have our Julian the Phantoms ones that Kelly got for our birthday. And then I also happen to have, we have a tiny star that we both have, and that's yeah. from our sister-in-law. And then I have a butterfly, which is a Harry Styles one that my friend Jan got me. Oh, and, and I've got friend a BSL hand. Oh, and Kelly's hand. got a BSL hand Somewhere. from Jan and Ellie. And then I have a star that is Julie and the Phantom from my friend Jan for our birthday. So we do like friendship bracelets. So we're going to get to it while we chat. Yes. So we were thinking about this before, and we were thinking about what it means to be a good friend and what kind of traits we would want in a friend and i'd say the first one would probably be someone who you can not compromise but somebody who gets not someone who doesn't have to like everything you like but someone who gets the things that you like like we always talk about that our friends know very much what we're into hence the julia the phantoms bracelets and things like that but we, it always means the world when they sort of pay attention yeah. when people listen so it's kind of nice when it's lovely when you have friends who share the same enthusiasm for something so obviously with me and Kelly we tend to like a lot of the same things so it's lovely having those friends that you can talk to about books and you can talk to about your favorite tv shows however if you have a friend at school who um, might not share the same interests it's always nice to kind of take a step back and listen because yeah. if you're a good listener and then they can be a good listener, then you might find that like common ground of compromise when you're having a conversation and you might end up finding out that you do like the things that they like or um, that you get a little bit of joy out of it because it makes oh, them happy. Yeah. So I know in the past when I um, somebody said things to me like, I was never huge on dinosaurs, I didn't know a whole lot about dinosaurs, but now I absolutely find them fascinating yeah. and anything I see with dinosaurs on them reminds, um, you it reminds me of my friend and I think and, and it makes me happy. happy so it brings joy in a different way um, so while it is lovely having friends who share the same interests as you don't it's turn people away if they don't have yeah, the same interests don't turn people away if they don't have the same interests and um, that listening thing is the huge just a, it's just a big part of friendship that you want somebody that listens to you but you also have to listen to them too so Equally, really, really I was important. going to say that leads into my point because I was going to say listening to someone can be listening to them talk about happy things but equally it can be listening to them talk about sad things or listening by having to move away because sometimes people might say to you I want to be on my own right now and you might think no no but I've got to be there or I've got to kind of try and talk to them but sometimes it's like no listen to them even with that too if they want their own space give them their own space for a minute and so that kind of comes important. into what I was saying before about boundaries like um I think it's very important to have boundaries with people and it's very but again it kind of just the big culmination of that is listening to people like Kelly just said with if your friends are telling you something, it's important to listen to them and it's important to take that time to appreciate their boundaries yeah. in hopes that they will appreciate yours too. And it's, I think even from a young age, it's really nice to be able to be open and honest with friends and kind of build that communication from the get-go and build that trust and build that um, understanding. just understanding with each other of hey, I know what my friend's needs are and I know what their boundaries are kind of thing. And I think that can be, you know, we're learning that as adults, you know, that you have friends who um, you, you can be so honest with and so open and you just, it, it feels so much nicer when you don't have to hide yourself in front of them. And I think that can be a really nice thing as a child too, to be able to have those boundaries. And if you need help with that, talk to teachers, talk to your mum and dad, talk to grown-ups, talk to brothers, big brothers and sisters and kind of learn about that and see if they can help you with that if a friend might be doing something where you're like 
I don't, don't agree with that it. or I don't understand it. Um, and they can maybe help you understand. I'm yeah. looking over at Kelly's bracelet and I'm like, I just went for the very generic bracelet here. <laughs> I, I and Kelly's making a very cool I one. Got and I got well, that's no, for me. I don't know if it's actually going to stay, but I kind of went because Lucy said she liked blue. I don't know if it's gone blurry. Lucy said she wanted the blue, but then this pink one is the stretchy one. So I thought it would be kind of fun to experiment a little bit. Not that this is actually going to stay like this when I I'm just threading. Um, I like these wrap chunkies. it all together. But yeah, and another thing about being a friend, going with the listening, going with everything, things that we kind of realise on the playground a lot is knowing when you, sometimes you just have to say sorry. Like knowing that if you've upset somebody, it's very quick to jump to the defence of I didn't mean it or I didn't. That's not how it came out or so you know and. Sometimes if you have made someone cry, maybe it's just best to listen to why they've been upset and then just say sorry and then move on and kind of turn around and go, okay, I'll agree to be like, I'm sorry if they hurt you in return because they were retaliating, they can say sorry and then kind of move past it and don't fall out, don't continue to hold that grudge, just admit when you say, it's hard, even as adults it's hard to say sorry because you feel like, no, but I was right, I had this in my head, but if you have genuinely upset someone, just Think about and I think it. that's that's definitely something that we deal with at school, like on the playground and when kids fall out. I think it's very hard sometimes to understand that you might have been telling a joke and then your friend is suddenly in tears and they're suddenly crying and you're thinking, what happened? I was just playing a game and I just told a joke. But to them, it didn't feel like a joke. And all of a sudden they had this wave of emotions and it really upset them. So instead of getting on the defensive, like, well, it was only a joke. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. You have to take a second to own it and to say, oh, well, my words hurt them clearly because they're crying and they're upset. And you sort of have to own it and say, okay, I understand. I've listened. I might have meant it as a joke, but they didn't it, take yeah. it as a joke. So I can see that you're upset and I'm going to be, I I'm going to own it. And I'm going to say, I'm very sorry for upsetting you. And I, I didn't mean it. And maybe at a later date you could talk about it and say I really didn't mean it or like Kelly said sometimes it's just you own up and you say I'm very sorry and then you can both move on and then you can um get on with playing and get on with having fun yeah I don't know how to keep it. it what would you like a star oh no that one Kelly would you like look I've got a star oh see I have a star. Oh, see I think mine's kind of Hey, good effort, good effort. Hey. Support your friend. Yes. There you go. Encourage your friend. Come <laughs> on, Kelly. Be supportive. Would you like a flower? Be flower encouraging. Um, no, because I feel like they get in the way. We have spent our whole lives, um, I always say this to the kids when it comes to sharing or when it comes to, um, what, what's the other thing, like as far as sharing and lifting people up and maybe sometimes feeling jealous or comparisons or comparing yourself with friends. Um, and if there's anybody that can tell you that, it's like we have been side by side um, since the day we were born. Um, so all those emotions we have definitely felt and um, just we've obviously yet other people. Who's the bad twin? Who's the good twin? Who's better at this? Who's better at that? So it's very hard not to compare yourself when you've always got people asking, well, who's better at this and who's better at that? I think we've just learned over time that we're in everything together and we support each other. So I want Kelly to be good at everything and I will support her and shout from the rooftops, hey, yeah. she's good at this, she's good at that. Um, and this, she does the same for me every single day. So it's always really lovely to have friends who are supportive. Um, and and who, well, I was just going to say to that, our biggest one that we always say and then we'll say till we're blue in the face is <laughs> if you are to be a good friend, always choose kind words. Even if, like we said, don't, you might you might joke and you might think something's a joke but if your friend doesn't find it funny apologize but the best way you can make sure you don't hurt someone's feelings is by always saying kind things and forgetting about any negatives or mean things that you could possibly say like take mean words out of your vocabulary and choose kind words every single day so to finish up i'm going to show you mine even though Wait. i feel like it's completely oh Oh, Lucy's made me a quite a cute one. I think I might have to go back because I kind of made one that was supposed to have a little spiral. Like, it looks like That's a fairy really yeah, but like it's not it. staying. Hang on, hang on, I need a star. It's not staying where it was supposed to stay. I don't even know if it's going to go on a race. Let me see. Can I see? I'm going to have to do, I'm doing my head going heart, star, heart, star. No. 
There are some really cool things. I feel like I might make another one, but oh, these ones I think got... are supposed to be necklaces. Sorry, that's what we were just right. saying as well. While yeah. we're making friendship bracelets, so that is just a nice thing to like sometimes just make your friends smile if you know what they like. Yes. Um, you can make the day by um, if it is making friendship bracelets, if it is drawing, a picture. drawing them a picture, writing them a little note to say, you can do it today. Yeah, it's a stretch. Yeah. Sorry. I was saying she's intertwined it with something that doesn't stretch. I know, this the pink one stretches, but the little one doesn't. Okay, Kelly, you tried. I you know. did a great job. Thank you. Okay, so I have tied Kelly's together. It's got this little flower and then it's got this little pattern and it's very cute and very pretty. So let's Hi. see if it fits. Yay! Yay! And then Kelly's Kelly. managed to tie hers on, so it's the little cute little twisty one. And it's, it's really, really pretty. Wheel. Like a little Ferris wheel. Some of the beads move, but it's, it's cute. Okay, guys, so. In finishing up this video, blah, blah, in finishing up this video, we just wanted to say that all these things are things that we think are important to be a good friend, and we hope that we listen to our friends, that we have boundaries, that we encourage them, that we support them, and that we use kind words. But it's also important too that your friends treat you equally, and that your if you're giving so much love to your friends, that your friends are giving you so much love too. Yeah. So. If you feel like maybe your friends aren't quite listening or you have a little bit of an argument or a dispute or they're not appreciating or um, acknowledging your boundaries, then please do make sure you speak to an adult. Please do make sure you speak to teachers or parents or grown-ups that you have around you. Um, and yeah. go out into the world. You work hard on being the most wonderful, amazing, beautiful friend. Yeah. And I hope if we all do that, then we'll we're just going to keep bumping into yeah. all these wonderful, amazing people. And then we're all going to be best friends. And that's going to be amazing. Yes. Okay. So go out there and be kind and treat people with kindness always. How and make sure you? they're treating with you with kindness too. <laughs> okay. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.